Okay, so today we're gonna do a quick tutorial just on how to make magnets. Super quick and easy to make with a Cricut machine. I'm using my Cricut Maker, but a Cricut Explore Air would work just fine. And also using these inkjet printable magnetic sheets because I have an inkjet printer. And these ones are specifically for magnets. They're a little bit thinner than regular magnetic sheets. And when they come out, Of this they will have paper in between them and then one side is the magnetic part and then the other side is the printer part so we will be printing on the side of the paper and then having our Cricut cut these out so here are a few ones that I have made so I just wanted to show you real fast how to do a bitmoji one um, if you have that app cute fun way to put these in your kids room or if you're a teacher have them around your classroom so people can see them so in my phone here I'm just going to my bitmoji app here and then I'm gonna go to the love you okay so I'm gonna click on this one okay and you see it gives me options to do here and since I like to have mine on my laptop Gives you tons of options to add them to. And I am a PC user. I do everything with my Google Photos. So I'm gonna upload this to my photos. And then so I can access it on my computer within Design Space. So that's so if you wanna do it um, from your phone, if you use Design Space from your phone or an iPad or something, we can just simply download this. So down at the very last one is just save. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go into Cricut Design Space and on a new project, I'm gonna upload and select from photo library and then it's right there for me. So I can put this right here. So we do need to do a bit of cleanup. We're going to remove the background Okay, so with the touch, it kind of removes everything on the background. So that's all we need to do. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna save it as a print then cut. And we'll just name it there. And now it is here for me to insert on my canvas. Okay, so you can get it on your canvas that way if you want to. Um, but I'm also going to show you on the Google Photos how to upload it, and then we'll go through kind of designing a few different ones. So let's switch over to my... Okay, so again, I have this in my Google Drive, so I am just going to go into my apps here and into my photos. And you'll see that I download have this in here. So all I'm going to do in here is just download this onto my computer. So now I have that. Okay, so I'm gonna open up Cricut Design Space and go into a new project here. And then I'm gonna click on the upload. And then I'm just gonna to go to upload image and click on browse. And it doesn't show the picture, but this is what I downloaded. So you can see it comes up here and I'm going to save it as complex mm. since we're printing it. See if I go to simple, all the colors kind of fade. So we're going to save it to complex. We're going to hit continue. And the only thing we need to do is remove the background here. Simple, just with your um, mouse, it's already on select. So I'm just going to click on the background and you see how it disappears there. And you can click on anything that you want to go away. So this gray thing is down there. I'm going to leave that in, but everything that's checkered is going to disappear from the background. Okay, so I'm just going to hit apply and continue. And then save this as a print and cut image and upload it. And you'll see I've already 
uploaded a few things here. So I'm going to click on this one and, and then I'll click on a couple more just so you can see a few different things I do here. And it came in huge. So we are going to go down to three inches there. Okay, so for these two that I printed out, I didn't add the offset to it, but for this one I did. So let me show you on here. I'm going to click on offset and I'm going to do it. Not overly big. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. And then you'll see it's black, but I want it white. So I'm going to come up here where the black square is and click on white. So now I have both of them. But with usually when you add an offset, it is a second layer. As you can see over here in my layers panel, I have more than one. So I need, in order to print this, I have to flatten these. So I'm going to use my cursor. I just click it down and drag it over. So I select both of these. And I'm going to come down here on the right side down here and click flatten. Okay, so now you'll see it says print then cut and it's all in one layer. Okay, so I have that one. So I also did one with um, like a scripture saying so you can go into phrases. And I think I just typed in Bible. And a few different scriptures came up. I think I pr picked this one here. I'm going to add this one to my canvas. So on this one, I also added the offset, which you need to do when it's all separate words like these. So it prints on something. So I'm going to click on offset. And for this, I don't want it to cut out a bunch in between. I wanted it actually all the way around it. So that actually did that fine. But you can see if it's smaller, then it actually cuts out in between all of these. Let me make this bigger so you can see. Oops. So there it goes all the way around, which is what I want. But if I was to go smaller on this one, it would cut out all these separate ones. And I don't want that. You, you might want that. That's fine. Um, but I'm going to go back up to it. There was that little thing right there. So I'm just going to go up one more notch and there we go. Okay. So I'm going to click on apply here <clears throat> and I don't want it gray. I wanted it yellow. So I'm going to click on my yellow button here. And again, same thing with this one. I need to flatten these together. So I'm just going to drag my cursor over the two and flatten this one. Okay. And then change it in size to however big you want. So the other one I did is I went to browse all images and underneath this operation type here, you can do print and cuts. And if you have Cricut access, you'll get um, access to a whole bunch. This minions one right here um, I did. So I just added that they have Olaf. There'll be different ones that are free um, off and on. So I'm going to come up and make this one smaller. Okay, so for this one, I did add a little offset, but again, you don't have to. Um, and I changed it to the square corner since this is a square there. I'm going to make it a little smaller so it's not too big. And I'm going to apply it and I just kept it gray. So again, I'm going to select both of these and flatten them together. So now they are one print and cut, cut. So always make sure to look at your layers over here to make sure it says print and cut and it's not two separate things. And again, you can also upload photos. Um, I have uploaded photos. I'll just go into so I can show you real fast. I don't even know where a photo would be on here. Okay, I'm just doing this. Um, 
So I'm just going to keep this. If I'm uploading a photo, I'm going to keep it as complex so it keeps all of those in there. And since it fits the whole screen, I don't need to do anything here. And then I'm going to click print then cut and click upload. Okay, and click on that and add it to the canvas. It probably will come in big. So I'm just going to change the size up here to three. So again, you can add an offset to this one or not if you're doing a photo. Okay, so now once I have them all, I'm going to click on my make it here. Okay, so with the sizes of these, they all fit on one, but depending on how many you do, it might go on to do two different ones. That is fine. And then hit continue here. And then it's going to connect to my maker and I'm going to send it to my printer. And for some reason, this happened to me before, it comes up all really funky on here, but it prints out fine. So I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so um, so I'm doing this kind of, I already printed mine and cut them, so now I'm going back and doing this part of the video. So these are probably going to be a little bit different than what I actually printed out um, and what was on one page. So if you notice that, um, that's why. But I'm going to keep the bleed on, and that just gives it a little extra ink on the outside so it doesn't cut into it. And then I'm actually going to use my system dialog because I want to change my settings a little bit. And this will totally depend on your computer, your printer. I use the Office Jet Pro. Um, it has a thick setting, a thick material setting that will print the thicker materials. So I'm going to click on preferences. And in here on my paper type, I'm going to go, I have my, I have matte, my matte. My magnetic sheet is a mat, so I'm going to use this one, this HP mat, and I have a HP, so this is what's coming up. Um, if you have, I'm going to, if you have a glossy magnetic sheet, then you would do this one. But I'm going to do the HP mat professional paper, and then I like the quality at best, and I'll show you at the end the difference between the best and how the normal printed. Um, it, or, there was a little bit of a difference, so the best does. Oh, so I'm going to click OK and then print on here and we're going to head over to the printer now. OK, so my printer, I have to open the bottom and put the magnetic sheet in here. So the magnetic sheet will have one white side where you want to print and then the black, which is the magnetic side. So my printer goes in and flips it over. So I'm going to put the black side up, but you have to check and see what your printer does. So I put mine down here. And then I'm going to click OK and then print on my my laptop. And that will take just a little bit to print out because I put it on the best quality set setting. So my printer has a thick paper setting and that's what I put it on. And then once that's printed all the way out, we're gonna head over to my Cricut and have it cut them out. Okay, so I have printed magnetic sheet here. I'm just gonna put it on a green mat and line it up as best I can there. And then with my brayer, I'm gonna press it down. So on my computer here, I'm gonna go into browse all materials. And then up here, I'm just gonna type magnet and you'll see it comes up with three different ones you can do a thick one a medium one and then a printable so i am doing the printable one so i'm going to click on that and click done so my cricut light is now blinking to load my mat so i am just gonna put this in here until it stops and push my load button
And since this is a print and cut and it has the um, registration marks, which is a guide for the Cricut, it will actually graze over all of those first. I'm gonna push my go button. So you'll notice it will read all of the lines first so it knows where to cut. So it takes just a few minutes to do that. So that's it doing it, reading where the line is there. So once it knows where all the lines are, it will cut those out. Okay, so before I take it out, I just wanna make sure that the magnet sheet has cut all the way through, because if not, I'll run it through again. And you do have to push it down a little bit. So if I push down a little bit, that comes right up. So I know it's ready. So I'm gonna unload this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna peel off my mat. And usually just kind of right at the beginning ones do have to push my finger down. To grab it. And you'll see this is why the bleed is turned on. And on the outside is where a little bit of that bleed will come up. And this one had a shadow like that already. Okay. Okay, so these are all the magnets I made. So super fun and cute. Great. I did um, some of these for one of my when my kids were little. One of their birthday parties is party favors. I put a picture of them and so thanks for coming to my birthday. I still have it too. Um, so again, this is with the Stone City inkjet printable because that's what I have an inkjet. And I have linked this below. So I just wanted to show you real fast. I did my first one. It's going to be hard to see on just regular, my printer's regular um, color. So as opposed to the best quality, So not sure if you can tell that. There's definitely a, a little vibrance issue, difference. I could tell the red is definitely more bright on the best quality. This one, I think you can see that a little bit, definitely more red and a little bit more vibrant than just the regular quality. But the regular quality works, um, but I prefer to do it on the best, but it just depends on your printer. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these up on my refrigerator. So I hope that helps getting you going with um, printing magnets. Really, you can do so many um, of different kinds of things. The photos, the bitmojis, with um, anything you wanna say or things that are in Cricut Access. So anyway, I hope you have a great day and thanks for stopping by.